Hello everyone, I'm ExtraCheese87 and this is Let's Play Yeast 8 Part 48. In the previous video we did stuff with Donna, that was fun. How the hell do I do this? How do I make insects die? Oh, we haven't learned these. Maybe that's why I thought we had more recipes than... Then it appeared a couple videos ago. Empty bottle, insulting. Unbelievably insulting. Anything over here? No? Okay. But yeah, last time we fought the boss of Donna. That was a lot of fun. Very, very fun. Slightly jank, but overall fun boss. What does this remind me of? This feels like an area we've been through before. I feel like there's a dungeon in... Well, there's a Yi-6 dungeon that's kind of like this. That has the same aesthetic. And then maybe also an Oath and Felgana? And I remember that really annoying dungeon in Yi-6. Oh, sorry, you're going to have to be more specific. Can I... I saw it. Oh, there it is. Record scratch, you may be wondering how I got in this situation. Oh god. You know what? I'm changing this back. Because my brain still thinks the charge is on triangle, and I'm not overriding that at this point. Because I keep trying to dash with her. Were they throwing down Molotov cocktails at me? Because that shit is not cool. Like, I'm pretty sure that's a crime. Help. Help. I'm in danger. Okay. This is fun. Got a freeze manual. <laughs> what do you guys, what do you think about that? Teach Donna a skill, Ice Age. What's Donna's favorite animated DreamWorks movie? It's cold. Come on. That's not the name of the movie. Freeze. You're supposed to Yeah, there we go. She said she said the line. I don't know if it's any good. I mean, it, it's a little too slow to ever be used on enemies that actually matter, but I guess it's kind of good for groups. The problem is uh, this exists. Why need mini skill when one skill do trick? I mean, it is kind of funny they gave us, like, basically the best skill in the game, like, I don't know. Less than a third of the way through the game. Would you like to battle? I will easily defeat you without being hit a single time. Now, I don't think I timed that correctly, but the where I got hit was a little sus. His swing was fully over. This is bad. Is that all? Um. <laughs> um, Donna? You had HP. Oh, so what, what, what may have happened is so when you enter the menu, you lose flash move. And so it may have been that she she instantly lost her flash move, but I went, to, went into the menu and then immediately died. You got me. You got me. I didn't make any saves in there, did I? Okay, I made one at least. I don't know. I did a four fighting. I wasn't an idiot. But that's a that's a rare interaction. Probably won't see that too often. What the hell is this? 
the wrong move. I'm still on Donna uh, muscle memory. Dakota, how are you taking damage? I can't see shit. My camera, it is so sick. What the hell is that? It's okay, we got Hummel. Yeah, Rage and Deluge. Oh, that's kind of cool. You hit him with the Kunkka Water Park. I will never be hit by a puny attack like that. Unfortunately, Sahad's best skill is still literally his first skill. Are you... You didn't drop anything, so okay, so you res. But like, are you invincible, or do I have to kill you again? Okay, that's cool. Exhibit number 25 of why I don't do fights. Why, why do you skip every... Fuck you! Why do you skip every boss, or every monster? Because nine times out of ten, they're invincible. And I waste my damn time fighting them. That or they give negative XP. It's okay. Did we just do a full loop? I don't know why. Why are the fireballs able to go through the wall? Was that entirely necessary? Did we need to have that? Was it, was there a playtester who was like, yeah, okay, so the Valley of the Kings, it's like pretty good. What I think it really needs to pop, though, is what if the fireballs uh, flew through the wall at Mach 12 and they said, holy shit, this man is cooking? I mean, we, we knew he was a smart guy after he said the hitboxes in Yee 6 were perfectly fine and did not need to be adjusted at all. But this really proves that he's a genius. I don't know. Embarrassing. What the fuck even hit me, man? <laughs> so, I mean, there was nothing over here. There was one chest that had. Like, that's in. Okay, the Hermit's at least 10,000, right? It's still. Ass. Okay, I can't use it on adult. Yeah. It's like, oh boy, here's one tenth of one level. Yeah. It's actually really less than that because we're under leveled to begin with. So it's like less than one tenth of one level. Yeah. Why do I always end up with Sahad yeah. as the last character? Who has to survive the gauntlet of death it's because he's got a place to be man he's got to get off this island everyone else if they get don't leave the island it's okay nobody was really looking for him back home everyone in the series is an orphan Sahad's the only one that's got a damn family waiting he's got to get out of here and he will not let any Molotov cocktail throwing ass get him Except for that time when he got God earlier, but that was, uh, there were extenuating circumstances. Is this the entrance? Did we unlock a shortcut? I think we did. All right, take me back so we can get a checkpoint. Coming. No, Hummel, we don't do that here. You have to go to another channel for that. We are explicitly anti-coming <laughs> around here. I thought you were going to throw it at me, and I was like, oh, I'm going to block this, and then it didn't land anywhere near me. And so then I just rolled into it. So how are we looking on the treasure department? Five out of 18? That's better than I would have thought. I was expecting this to be at, like, two out of 18. 
I still can't believe the one enemy I fought resurrected. Do you guys get any XP? I didn't really check. But didn't it like the bar move? I can't remember. Do we have our, our weapons upgraded yet? I think Adol's all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adol's all the way, but the rest aren't. Okay, I mean, they get some XP, I guess. Let's see. Four, four, three, two, six. Four, 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 five. Okay, so they give a thousand XP. You gotta kill like a hundred of these guys to get one level. Granted, these other enemies may have more. Let's see, how much do you? Four nine. Okay, you gave no. Oh, you don't die. Okay. I mean, this really is a just like. They don't want you to fight anything. I have faith. Man, remember that stupid chest in E6? Where they wanted you to do that whole drop down bullshit? And like the dungeon that looked like this? What did you learn? Triple bomber. A delayed explosion sounds like an easy way to get hit. Rage and deluge. Do I want to backtrack? Eh, let's at least peek our boss. We'll probably definitely want to get a level or two, but we can at least do a little cracky in. And who knows, maybe it's easy. That was one of those where we get the treasure and then they attack us on the way out. A treasure chest. A purifying bell. Ah, okay. Hey, Adol, remember your chimes? Hey, Adol, remember your chimes? This is essence equipment. We use this during the Requiem ritual. Oh, use it for what? We used it to purify tainted souls. With this we can defeat the twisted souls of the undead that roam this place. Oh, that's cool. <sighs> that's a relief to hear. Those things are irksome to fight. I guess we are technically trespassing in this place. <laughs> Lucky for you two, huh? Better cover my ground that we can defeat the undead. The tomb continues deep underground, Adol. Let's continue making our way forward. Sure hope no monster shows up as we leave. Okay. So I have to have it equipped. Because I run nice. Okay, we probably don't need our floating shoes. Still missing two things. Now we should be able to purify the souls of the undead. Okay, do me a solid dead guys, and please rest in peace. Okay, let's make sure we save another slot. And if we do need to go back and get a level, we're kind of locked in here. Can you change your adventuring and equipment in combat? Like, if you don't equip the bell, are you fucked? I assume no. I don't think they're that evil. Okay. Okay, you can change it in combat. Alright, that's a slow slash. An opening! Honestly, let's just go ahead and blast you. Now we should have switched to Donna. Yeah, he's a tanky boy. Alright, but that's a breath. I thought that was the fireball. It should be the breath. Well, it's not really kidding me. Any Ice Age fans? Okay, that's way too slow. 
It's kind of a cool move, but unfortunately it's what we in the biz call shit from ass. That was way too early. Okay. Like, see, that swipe, it has a, a proper hitbox. Why couldn't the last boss have a proper swipe hitbox? I don't know why. It's like some of them are perfect, and then some are like you have to do it 45 years for the attack would actually hit you. Okay. Unpunished, never punished. Once again, the classic, I only start playing well once I'm on Loxia, who does negative damage. Okay, that's an attack. Uh, it's too early. Hey guys, what's uh, Donna's favorite? Dragon fight from E7. Is that eh, no? The Moon Dragon was my favorite. That was actually the only one I actually really liked. The Earth Dragon was fine, but the third phase sucked. What were the dra What was the Fire Dragon? Oh, the Fire Dragon was annoying as hell. I can't remember why. I mean, considering we played, like, terribly at the start, this is... Like, we got instantly killed by that all. We did pretty well. Granted, this fight is long enough that we could maybe actually get a... a second ult. Eh, probably not. That's you stunned. I thought you were about to... Him getting stunned and him shooting a fireball look kind of similar. Okay, second phase. Okay, that should be his big explosion. Oh, it shoots fireballs. I was about to praise the fight for being like, hey, you actually know what he's going to do because he does it in the cutscene before the fight. And then he started shooting freaking fireballs at me. Okay, so he shoots fireballs with a slash. Anything else that's new? I don't think the fireball slash really matters. Since we're going to be flash moving that anyway. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Getting the second phase with Adol dying extremely quickly. Okay, still doing it a little too early. Alright, sir. What is that? Wait, do you always shoot fireballs with your slash? And I just haven't seen it. Oh, I think you always do, and I've just been too close to notice. So that's not even new? Oh. Unpunished, never punished, because I messed up the... the flash move. Well, I guess the one thing you kind of need to be careful with is that the fire will basically instant kill you because of the burn. Okay. That attack's a little sus. Because it's like if you, you kind of like get stuck inside of him and it hits you very fast. Oh, that's you being stunned. You are almost stunned. Guess we'll try and save our ultimate for it. Okay, that was the breath. I was expecting it to be the uh, fireball. Yeah, we should have switched to Donna, but 
He doesn't really take extra damage here, though. Now, we're not quite gonna kill him, but we should be very close. As long as you don't get destroyed by a second phase attack. Okay, they, they home in. They have like super good homing. And they actually keep homing you after they hit you. Okay. He's doing it again. But granted, them homing on you is actually kind of good because it means you can just flash guard spam. Oh, you're stunned. Bro, he is a sleepy boy. That's the second boss we've beaten on our second or third boss. We've, well, no, 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 just the second because we didn't beat a um, pirate lord in our second try. We almost beat him on our second try. It's so funny the difference in that fight and the Donna boss. I mean, granted, that is a mid boss at least. So in theory, it should be a bit less difficult. Even though at the start of the game, I feel like it like wasn't like that at all. The mid bosses were harder than the, well, the turtle is harder than the chameleon in chapter one. The spider is harder than, what's the mid boss? Oh yeah, the worms, the worms suck, but they're not that hard. They're just annoying at the start. But once you know that you can one shot them all with Hummel, the fight's not that hard. What was the next area? The swamp? The tree's harder than the hippo. Because then after the swamp, then you do cure guard, then you get to chapter three. And then the mid boss is you fight the dinosaur 14 times. I guess it's really just that very first one where the turtle's harder than the chameleon. I keep thinking that's gonna hit me. I'm trying to time my rolls with it. So do you give any XP? Okay, so you're dead. It's kind of weird because they don't even really look like undead enemies. I mean, I guess I can kind of see now if I look closer, they are kind of skeletons. But like compared to the, you know, skeletons on the AI. Uh, a pirate ship. Do I need to do anything with these? Because I don't really know where to go. Because we weren't really gated by not being able to kill anything, were we? Unless, like, does killing those little statues do something? I mean, it didn't seem like it did, but I... Because presumably we need to kill something that we wouldn't have been able to kill before to unlock somewhere, but I don't... I don't know what to do. And I can drop down there. I guess we can just try and go back to the lower level. You know, we can also take me back to the village for a second. We can do some weapon upgrades and see if there's any new quests. There are. Oh yeah, there's still this thing we need to do, which I don't know how to do. <laughs> yeah, I think we need another person. I don't know, it's something full of happy energy. That's why I want to give me some happy energy now. I want to work so hard that Donna can depend on me. But the King's is a royal cemetery. I wonder what lies there besides the corpses. Presumably the King's. 
I mean, I guess those are the corpses, but what if they're not corpses? <laughs> Welcome back, Gramps. Look, I tried making some coffee like you told me. We have coffee beans on this island? Oh, thank you very much. Now's a perfect time for a break. And my favorite kind, fruit thick as mud. An exceptional job for your first putt. As Thanatos guffawed, he grabbed the mug filled with coffee and downed it in one swig. But this is mud! Haha, <laughs> gotcha! Austin, it is shit. Hey, Donna came back, right? Better not give up on her, okay? Nah, because if we give up on Donna, then we have to replace her with Rakota, and, you know, Rakota's not bad, but she ain't Donna. It's indeed good that Donna has returned, but for my part, I'm still afflicted by the hangover. Bear in mind that fact, I beg you allow me a bit more rest. Every location point lost his damn mind. Seems like Donna's made a decision deep in her heart. You must have influenced her. This is great news. I must have become more diligent like you to be of more help. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Someone told me that apparently... You're supposed to go back to the... The here? After you kill the Oceanus? Do I have our thing equipped? Am I gonna am I about to perish? I'm not about to perish. Apparently at some point, either maybe already or in the future. Oh, there's that. Okay. That's what we needed. Guess we can also make sure we explore everything to fill out our map. Because you know me, I love filling out my map. I'm always talking about my map. Anything down at the bottom of interest? No. I don't even know who I would give that to. I mean, the first thought would be the captain, but well, you know. It's gonna be kind of hard for him to appreciate it. Where's the point set? Okay, it's over there. All right, this is what we're doing. You want me to fill out the map, you gotta... I'm, I'm not gonna suffer alone, we'll suffer together. Just like the, just like the castaways, this is a group bonding experience. This is how we strengthen our bond, raise our approval to sky high limits. Also, is there a chest over? Because we're still missing a chest. Now, in theory, we have explored it all the way. So logic dictates the chest should appear on my screen. Oh, okay, it's over here and we can't open it because we don't have any people. Where are these people at? Because I really can't think of who would join us. Like, I don't know, unless there's like some Eternians who are still alive. What am I doing? Don't, don't fight these nerds. Turning into her still alive. Maybe there's like one other castaway I can't think of. But we still need like a third person. I don't know. Maybe my thought about how Carlin didn't actually die. Maybe that's the truth. They just want you to think he's dead so that he can show up at the end of the game and be like, haha, I'm like a less shit person now. Because, you know, rule number one if you don't see the body. Their ass is not dead. Hmm, really glad the Donna returned. Even the tea tastes better now. Bro, I've given you like 18 fish since my last reward. Give me a reward. What is our fishing log looking like? Bro, there are a lot of damn fish in this game. But since this is, we probably have access to all of them now, or close to all of them, I don't know. Is it is is it worth finishing out the fish? Do I need to finish the fish? If I need to do it, I'll do it, but I don't really want to. So let me know. If I have to, you know, go look up where all the fish are, I'll do it, but 
If I don't really need to do it, I will probably avoid doing that if it's not actually required for, like, anything important. Uh, it's for you. I'm not giving you anything. It's the motivation I need. I gave the plans another once over and decided to revise them to include a resting berth at the stern. Now people can take a break. You do realize there's like 24 potential people are, at least are going on this ship? We're going to be packed in like damn sardines. There's not going to be any time for a resting berth. At all. That's... Did you carry this all the way back? Okay, at least you can warp now. So you only had to carry it a little bit. Because <laughs> imagine if we didn't have warping yet. MF or swims to the bottom of the sea, picks up the thing, walks back up to the bottom of the sea, climbs the mountain, climbs back down the mountain, walks all the way back over here. Adol handed it over and explained how he found it down in the Oceanus' nest. See, down there, huh? Look at this reminds me of the first time I boarded the Lombardia. An enormous ship with four masts. It was love at first sight. Captain and my colleagues loved that ship. We were like a big family. Even when it's in this form, I'm happy to know it's with me. We got revenge. Yeah, you're right. We avenged its sinking. It seemed like I was letting it drag me down, internally. I didn't remember a crew. I felt like I could have done something. And you guys could have helped at all when he was fighting the tentacles. But that's uh, not true at all. I was to be positive and stay strong. Hey, I know what we can do with this nameplate. How we put it on the ship we're constructing right now. That's it. The name of the new ship is the Lombardia 2. Uh, got to be proud. Yeah, now that it's inherited the name, we can't bring shame to it. All right. All right, now that that's settled, I'm going to work even harder. I mean, it's kind of a... Because, I mean, the, the Lombardia was a big ship. This is not a big ship. I mean, it's like a big, it's like a big boat, but it's a very small ship. It was kind of a downgrade. He comes off like a tough guy, but he always comes through in the end. I don't know what I'd do without him. Uh, expanding those. Who are you talking about? Storage area. Feels like he settled things with Donna. Boy, her boldness definitely reminds me of a certain someone I know. Anyway, ship's construction is going well, but it's going to take more time. I think you should try and help her out. And then we're going to slap the water a degraded Lombardia logo on there. I'm glad that Donna's back. She must have her reasons, but I wish she would trust us a bit more. We're all here to help each other. Strange, we're just a bunch of people who've washed ashore together, but... I felt depressed when a single person went missing. Glad Donna came back. Her being here is reassuring. What do you need? Please take care. Infinite HP. At all, we could have infinite HP. What did we decide? So the Stone of Antiquity was strength and SP cost, or strength, defense, SP cost. This was... Resist all statuses? No, no, no. It was restore HP when flash guarding. Which we don't know if that's good or not. It depends on the HP restored. If it's, you know, like 100 HP, that's pretty good. If it's 8 HP, like uh, Donna's region, then it's not that good. But even if it was like 100 HP, you know, I still don't think it's all that great. Because I'd rather just have things that let me kill faster. Not much of a peep out of the Beast of Blade either. Just leave this to us. Like, the opportunity cost for getting rid of either of Adol's things is way too high. I mean, losing out on 88 strength is way too much. I mean, I guess we could. Well, even you guys. Like, I don't really want to get rid of either of that. Take your time! I don't know if that's, I mean, that's probably good. But is it 88 strength good? You know? See you later. And the flash move accessory is like, I mean, it's the best accessory in the game. Because not only does it make 
you know, it's so good for defense because it lets you like chain flash moves much easier, but it's also extremely good for offense because while you're in flash move, you can do a ton of damage. So that's a really hard one to get rid of. Sorry, I don't make you worry so many times. I won't hesitate any longer. Everyone's thoughts and feelings. I've accepted them all. They've all supported me, and I hope that I've been able to support them. Also reminds me, like, we don't have any other gifts, do we? No. Oh, yeah, there's the treasure key. key. We need to do that as well. Donna happy. I'm happy. Thank you, Adol. Thank you, Adol. Damn true. Damn true. Donna's incredibly strong. We're in the same situation. Could I have acted as she did? I have to make my decision. I'll escape with everyone and say my farewells with a soft smile. And then never appear again. The Valley of the Kings is a royal cemetery. I wonder what lies there besides the corpses. When you're done, let's go. I already talked to you. I guess Donna can be a little uptight. Well, I guess I did get pretty loud since I drank so much. She called me out for it. I do feel kind of bad. Guess things must have been pretty different back in her time, huh? Still, no one can say she doesn't pull her own weight around here. Exactly. Okay, I need to make this for the Mishi. I hope you like it. I don't remember if we made this for the Mishi or not. I think we did, but... Eat up. No, we will not eat at all. Don't you dare even imply that I would eat food. I talk to you guys. And talk to you guys. It's happy that Donna's returned. Yeah, now I can prepare. This is all thanks to you, at all. Indeed, thank you so much. I think Luke was thinking the same thing. No, he's thinking I'm fucking hungry, man. I imagine so. I think I should be able to repay my debt to Donna. Please take your time. Anything new? Have we always been able to make the flash move thing? I think that's new. I don't remember if this has been here or if I've just been like not making it because it's broken. To have on like even having it on one character is kind of the only reason we still have it equipped is just because, well, I've been using it for so long. Because, I mean, you can see how strong it is based on, like, how much easier we have. Please come again. Like, I mean, how we destroyed that last fight with Adol, whereas the, you know, the equivalent fight in Donna's portion, like, level-wise, was absolute hell. But, I mean, if Donna had the flash move thing, we would have beat that boss extremely easily. Because it'd be so much easier to train flash moves. But, you know, it's like when you've been using it for so long, it's kind of like, I don't know. May as well keep using it. It's not like the game is super easy. If we do keep destroying bosses with that, although maybe, I don't know. And we had a hard time with the Tentacle Lord, but I think that was because the Tentacle Lord is, well, probably the worst boss in the entire series. Whatever was getting her down seems to have passed. Glad that's over with. Like, I'll fight 10,000 uh, Bat Lords from Yeast 1 before I fight one more Tentacle Lord. Because at least Batman, he's like a pretty fast fight. Same with uh, whoever the bad guy at the end of Yeast 1 is. Which one is that? Dark Fact? Yeah, 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 him. I was like, it's either Dolls, Darm, or it's it's another D name. Okay, so I think we talked to everyone. Or oh, wait, our weapons. Sorry. What should I upgrade? Okay. So you, or you did not get upgraded all the way. Are you? Yeah, you're upgraded. Leave it to me. So you're not upgraded at all. Whew. It's complete. Contain the soul of a Saurian? I'll get started. Imagine minding your own damn business. All right, finished. Being a dinosaur, doing dinosaur shit. Started. And then you're turned into a damn Ooh, blade. It's complete. Doesn't sound very fun. Is that it? I mean, I do gotta respect that Homo still does decent damage despite having a shit tier weapon.
It's just he's just like the least fun character to play. But I do think he's kind of good. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to smash. I don't even really know what this is supposed to be. Cause I mean that was like a tomb that goes down. That shouldn't take me up to this. But, I mean, do you see anywhere? This has an up arrow. That just connects to this. Is there anywhere else with an up arrow? Oh, maybe here? Alright, take me to the camp. Way. And we also want to feed the Mishy, and then we got to do ah, so many damn chores. You say I can go this way, but I mean, I see the entrance. Yeah, we can maybe spin that. I don't know if we're supposed to get over here yet, but I think we can. As long as there's not an invisible wall. Okay, a little too far back. Hello, I have come asking for a donation of your finest SP. Okay, you're faster too. Okay. Loxy, a fast AF girl. I, mean, I feel pretty confident that we're not supposed to be able to do that. Moxia! But like, where would that even connect to? I wish I could just click on this and it would take you to the next map. We had this technology in like 2007. Oh, we have 21 people now? Oh, because we didn't have Donna at the time, I bet. I was like, we haven't gotten any new people since we came here. But yeah, yeah, Donna had left. Oh my god. I got to equip the damn gloves. Uh, no, but don't want to equip that because you're going to need that. And then you're going to be wondering, why can't I kill the monsters in the Valley of the Kings? It's because you want to equip the, the stupid bell. You got to have the... Ah! Can I climb? All right. Yes! Roger. Thanks, guys. Rope ladders in place. Okay, so this is. I don't know, we're somewhere. Think anybody's been ha ch chilling on the damn mountain? The butler guy! Yeah, you! You're Loxia's butler! I for completely forgot about you. Ah, this cup I found in the ruins is a tad too large. Ah, let's see what turned cold before I even finish filling the cup. Hmm. Yeah, Loxia's butler that she literally never mentioned the entire time, which is really weird. That looks like another survivor, but... What kind of person does himself a tea party? Franz, is that really you? You know him, Loxia? It seems she does. Mistress Loxia, I've not seen you in ages. I didn't even notice you'd appear. No, I'm glad to see you safe and well. <sighs> Same as ever, I see. You tried to save me in Lombardia, but ended up falling overboard. 
and I've known you long enough to know that you'd be fine. It's super weird that she never mentions him a single time, though. Like, that that really tells you everything you need to know about how Loxia views the help. Everyone else who has, like, someone they're, like, related to is constantly talking about how, oh, man, I can't wait to see so-and-so again. I hope so-and-so is still alive, which I guess really now I think about is maybe just Allison. But even Rakota, she's constantly talking about looking for her dad. Loxia, oh, no, my, uh, my butler died? Eh. Or, like, he might be, you know, stranded on the island? Eh. I'm not in your place so much trust in me. Uh, besides, I know how to swim, unlike you, so I was never in any danger of drowning. There was a tentacle monster? So, I've been fair. Once again, you snuck out of Roswell Manor to wander out without a care in the world. I had to guess you've had a far more relaxing, carefree trip in mind. Were you able to finally find the answer to all those questions you've had? Um, actually, uh, I'm sorry that my actions put us both in danger. So stop being so rude in front of my friends. What do you mean? He's not... How's he being rude? You're rude. You're the one who never mentioned this guy a single time. Your friends? I didn't know you could make those. Huh, it seems you're undergoing some rather drastic changes, Mistress Loxia. I see you have purple hair now. Hmm. As your loyal servant, I could not be more pleased. Enough already. Oh, so you like works for her or something? Guess they're like the really close friends. Not that close. Alright, Franz, we need to immediately put your ass to work. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Franz, butler to House Roswell. It would appear that you have been taking care of Mistress Laxia in my stead. Hm. I hope she hasn't proven too difficult for you to manage. I mean, if she could learn to do some damage, then we'd be really, uh, ballin'. Nice to meet you. I'm charmed to make your acquaintance as well. By the name, hmm, your name Adol, was it? Must well, suppose I find you quite fascinating. <laughs> I'll be keeping a close eye on you. This guy doesn't seem to be your normal hoity-toity boiler. Yes, though he speaks out of turn far too often, he can accomplish any task. In fact, I've never seen him struggle to do anything. R really? His clothing looks impeccable for someone who washed ashore here. <laughs> He's been wandering the northern region of the island all by himself. Must be very skilled to do so. Let me big help at Castaway Village. Welcome aboard. I assume you can find out how to get back by yourself? You honor me. Well, my mistress, I would gladly offer my services to your village. I am very pleased to meet you all. And we basically did just tell him to walk back. Because we didn't even teleport with him. Because it's not like he can't warp. He doesn't have any equipment on him. So we would have to escort him. But we didn't escort him, which means... Um, We hold his ass to walk back manually. And that's just the normal way we go. So anything with 22, take me over here. Oh, now it's going to start cracking like a damn egg. We'll find somebody here, and then we'll find somebody there, and then we'll go somewhere else, then we'll get another thing unlocked. And before you know it, we're fighting the ultimate super boss. Oh, something's there. Hey, I know it's a rock that looks just as big as the rock we beat when we had like nine people, but you need 22 for this, we promise. After sitting a little parallel, everyone in Castaway Village arrives to help. All right, let's clean it up. Oh. Oh. You finally find Thanks, out that guys. there's people on the island aside from you that have survived and they've actually managed to form a village. And as soon as you get there, they tell you to march back where you came and help um, punch a rock. You've been in the Castaway Village for four seconds. But this, you know, this isn't where I'm supposed to go. This might lead back to that area in the capital? Would be my guess. Yeah, 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 it does. If you MFers ask me to climb a damn vine wall down here, we, we are not going to be having a, a cool time. Boy, didn't we come here and die? Because it would definitely, the shit was not underwater. 
Yeah, because we came in here with Donna alone. That was in Donna's timeline. Right? The hell are you? Uh, oh yeah, you're the thing that I hit at the top. At all, don't. We don't need you to do the drop down attack. At all. Just like, just like a regular slash, please. At all. I just, I just want to, I want a nugget of SP. There we go. See, Donna understood the assignment. Okay, don't mind me. Green orbs. Green orbs. Ugh. That was so dark and scary. I thought I was going to wet myself. Like, you better not or else. I'm not against people having a piss fetish. All right. Like for the record, I think it's probably one of the more tame out there fetishes. Right. Did, did they really need to have 25 lines about Sahad pissing himself constantly? Like, I'm not, I'm not going to shame you for getting aroused by that. There's much worse things you could get aroused by. <laughs> but, like, do what I need to hear about it constantly? <laughs> A hide formula? What the hell? I don't even know what that would be for. Don't, don't mind me. Alright, now maybe we did go in here with the full squad. I guess for some reason I feel like I remember to being just Donna. Yeah, okay. All right, well, we figured that mystery out. I still don't know how to get up here. Well, we're almost at the end of the video, so we'll do one more attempt. See if we can cheese it. I feel like Loxia can, she can maybe do it. We jump at just r the right time. It depends on like how the if there's an invisible wall there or not. That extends more than you would think. Okay, so you gotta get up to speed. Mm. It, it feels like we're so close. I think we're, maybe we're jumping a little too early. Because we don't, because we lose. I'm not trying to do her follow up attack there, I'm trying to hit. X. I don't know. I feel like I should be able to make it. Nah, it's kind of a... It feels like a pretty thick, invisible wall. Yeah, I don't think we're making it. I don't know how to get over there then. Because there's nowhere else as a chance to go up. And I don't see how the Valley of Kings is going to connect back to it. Who's over here? Oh, that's the Monkey Lord. We can go check. I don't think it'll be ready, but... I like fighting the monkey lord. Probably the. See something. 
I think the, the best design fights in the game are the Monkey Lord fights. Like, they have literally no issues at all. I mean, some of his specials are a little jank. Really, just like, I mean, the first one, when he jumps up in the air is a little weird, because, like, he doesn't always hit you, and if he doesn't hit you, then the hitbox is weird. No? Okay. It's worth a shot. All right, we'll go back to the village, talk to dude, and then... Oh wait, do we have any others that require 22? You're 24. I think those one that needed 23. Yeah, that's 23. We can't we don't want to get there yet. We're getting there, we're getting there. Alright. If I was a butler. Where might I be? Inside, doing butlery things like... Like, be o Be over... Here! Butler, my butler? Where might you be? Where could you have gone? What did you see? Ah. Already buttering up to Doggy, I see. Is that everything you wanted me to do? The majority of the tasks are done, so perhaps you should get some rest? What, you, you finished already? Alright then, I want you to help me build the ship. Hmm, would you like me to start assembling with the mast? Uh, I was just messing with you, but uh, I don't think there's a better butler in the whole world. Roswell family butler ought to be able to handle carpentry without issue. So our master is not conducting field research most of the year. Please do this to me. Hey, does your master go about Thanatos and maybe lost his memory and also made Loxia lose his memory? Anything? Alrighty. So we'll go ahead and call it here. Next time, we'll return to the Valley of the Kings and maybe fight a real boss this time. As opposed to the joke boss they forced me to face off against earlier. I'm extra cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.